Hi everyone, I'm here with uh, little Dr. Maxi Bruning. We're going to do a, an, an experiment that you can do at home that I'd like you to try to do to understand the properties of water. So we've got a little bit of rubbing alcohol, you should have this laying around your house, also known as isopropanol, and a little bit of water. Uh, for this demonstration, you're going to need a water dropper. If you don't have a water dropper, you can use what we use, and you get a paper towel, I know they're precious right now, and fold it in half and roll it up, and then you can use this as your water dropper. So uh, we're going to use this, and we're going to uh, experiment with water and alcohol. Be right back. Hello, we're back with our Propter safety equipment. Get yours on. Uh, we are only using water or rubbing alcohol for this, so it's not really very dangerous, but you can never be too sure. Yeah. Right? You always want to be safe. So what Maxie's going to do now, little Dr. Maxie Bruning, <laughs> is she's going to drop on these two little dots here a drop of water and a drop of rubbing alcohol from our homemade paper towel droppers. So go ahead, Max. So I'll get some water right here. Okay, that could be like seven, maybe. And then some rubbing alcohol. Doesn't really matter how much you get, but you want to have roughly the same amount. Okay, so now I got a drop of each on my arm. You can tell the alcohol because it makes the Sharpie run. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what you're to do is to blow on it gently. And what you do then is you kind of see if there is a difference in temperature. And absolutely there is a difference, and I'd love for you to tell me what you found. Which one is colder, the alcohol or the water? Thanks a bunch. Until next time, say goodbye. Bye. See you later.